Hello, my brothers and sisters of the internet. My name is XX with a dip XX, and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, in the last video we did for this game, we went and explored around, and I bitched about how the game lagged. And well, it still lags, and I actually got an interesting story for you guys. But before I tell you the story, I had to check to be sure that this bitch is uh, recording. Okay, yes, it's recording. Um, interesting story for you guys. I downloaded uh, MSI Afterburner to actually overclock my GPU a little bit to run this game better to uh, get rid of the frame rate problems without having to use VSync because VSync only puts it to 60 frames per second and if it drops when it's loading a biome at 60 frames per second then it goes to 20 frames per second and I don't want that I want it to remain at like 80 frames per second or something like that and then if a biome loads it will only drop to 60 so you will barely notice the frame rate drop so that's why I overclocked my GPU a little bit um, to kinda get rid of that little bit of a lag but uh, I did that and it was successful it did work properly it worked really well actually after Bernard did but uh, I got rid of it because my computer would not let me download Combustor I have a feeling it had something to do with the website that Compostor was on. It was a weird fucking website. It wasn't It wasn't on MSI's website. It was on some weird fucking website. I don't know what it was. The download link was on my computer wouldn't let me download Combustor, so... There's no sense in me trying to overclock my GPU without Combustor. Because I wouldn't be able to scan for artifacts. And, uh... Yeah. But, um... Just to let you know, my graphics card does not need to be overclocked at all to play this game. It's just that it's an early development game, early access, and early access games tend to lag. And lags, lag. And it, uh. And it lags, um, a lot because, like I said, it's early access, and early access games like that. Now, this game comes in with some updates every now and again and makes the frame rate perfect, but uh, there, like I said, it's early access. You know what I'm trying to fucking say. It's early access and it's buggy as fuck. There you go. If your graphics card scores higher than 950 on the graphics 3D benchmark, then you should be able to run this game flawlessly at max settings or in 4K for all I know. You can probably run this game in 4K. I could run this game in 4K. All I need is two monitors. And uh, you can run it at max settings with that lag. It's just it's just an early development game. That's why it's bug. That's why it lags. I can't do anything about it. That's why I overclocked my GPU a little bit so it wouldn't be as noticeable. <clears throat> VSync does work when it's turned on, but like I said, it only ha has it hover at 60 frames per second because that's the highest frame rate my monitor goes up to and if it drops when it's loading a biome then it goes right down to uh, 30 frames per second or 20 depending on what it's like and I didn't like that because it ruined uh, the, it would have ruined the video it would have made the video look weird and also I didn't like it because the game wasn't running as fast as it is now it would, it would not run this fast here with VSync on it would be slow as fuck But um, if you guys n n know how to get it, n like s n any other overclocking uh, software, like MSI Afterburner, that has something like uh, com like that has something like Combustor that I can actually download off their website, like let's say for example ASUS or EVGA, then uh, let me know because I'll download and use that instead of Afterburner. I'm gonna have to update my antivirus software soon and renew my membership. 60 days should be up by now. Well, it'll give me a notification when 60 days is up. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that should be soon. <laughs> I'm 100% I'm positive that that should be soon. When 60 days is up. Because that's when I gotta renew my membership for McAfee. McCafe, whatever it is, it's actually an amazing antivirus software. It's really good. It's, not bad. it's better than AVG, in my opinion. It's 
really fucking good anti Then again, it's made by Intel, so... What else would you expect? Thank you, Asus Web Storage. I know you gave me 100 gigabytes of free web storage. I really don't give a fuck right now. I actually could give less of a fuck about that right now, because I got better things to do. Alright, uh... Get out. Ah! Uh, get out. Anyways, don't know where I'm going, I'm just going where I'm going. Oh yeah, I forgot to update the sound on this thing. I don't know where I am. I'm, I'm in the mountain caves, yes I know that. Overgrown caves or whatever it's called, but uh, I'm just exploring around in here. This game is a great game to test how much you how much your graphics card can be overclocked because uh, it's got a lot of detail into it. Even though it's a low, it's actually like a very low end game. Like it's, it's it uses miserable miserable GPU. Uses a miserable GPU, like it only uses a 550 Ti, and that's garbage. That's a garbage GPU. Back in the day, it was like one of the best fucking things you could have, but right now, that's a garbage GPU. I do not. If you if you get to have a computer with that in it, I suggest you either upgrade your computer or something like that because it's not gonna work very well for you. Should be a fucking Reaper Leviathan hanging out around here somewhere. It wasn't. I don't know where he went. He's somewhere. Oh, you see, the frame rates are running pretty well, but like I said, it gets, it gets a bit cut. It gets a bit choppy every now and again. Like when I come up here, kind of gets a bit choppy. Like I said, it has. I've said it's, it's got something to do with the monitor and the fact that the game's buggy as well. Most of it's got to do with my monitor, though, because my monitor only goes to 60 frames per second. And I guess it comes out, I don't know much about the recording software or anything like that, but I guess the recording software records your monitor, and is recording your monitor, so if the monitor only goes up to 60 frames per second, the, the recording software, I guess, would only record 60 frames per second. Now, if I really wanted to, I could put OBS up to 120 frames per second, and I did that before, but, um... The, the game, I did a pre, -re I had did a test recording of it, and like the video was just fucking messed up. It was like, oh, I chopped the retarded because, like I said, I think it had something to do with my monitor, and how it can only handle 60 hertz. I might get a bigger monitor down the road. I might get an Asus ROG monitor, something big, something good, you know. I got money, I can do it. I got a bit of cash on me. As a bird. The fuck? That's a nice view up here, though, isn't it? It'd be great to build a base up here. You know, I should try and build a base up here, but then again, I will never be able to get my submarine or anything up here, though. So, but it's a nice place to have a base, I must say. It's pretty, it's pretty deadly. Oh! I'm alive. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I'm gonna check and see how long I've been recording for now, guys. Uh, that's, oh, no, that's the wrong fucking button, you dickbag. Nine minutes. I think that's good enough. So um, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. You can't see me give you a thumbs up because I don't have my face cam on. The reason why is because I wanted to play in the dark. So anyways, like I said, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, follow me on Twitter for video updates when they're gonna come out. Share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Share it with your friends on Google Plus if you got friends that still use Google Plus. Uh, some not like a playlist will be in the description below. And as always, my name is XX, Twisted Nips XX, and I just did a free 60 nose scope MLG Pro trick shot. And I'll see you, brothers and sisters, in the next video. Peace!